children. Hello, Sandy. Hello, children. Hello, Sandy. Children, today's lesson will be different from the normal lesson we used to have. We shall look into advice to our parents. Parents, if your children come back from school, ask them questions like, what did you people learn in school today? Like myself, if I come back from school, my parents would ask me, Cindy, what did you learn in school today? These questions helps me in my studies. Anytime I remember the questions from my parents, it makes me more attentive to my teacher and also serious with my studies. Number two, some parents are not educated. This is not a problem. Your parents should hire a teacher for private teaching. If your parents don't have money to hire a teacher, let them buy children teaching for you. Children teaching contains all the things you learn in the school every day. All of them are inside children teaching. Children, you can advise your parents to buy them for you in the market. Three. Those children that are not serious with their studies, their parents are the cause of it. Do you know why? No, they Because their parents are nowhere to be found. They don't give their children attention. They don't ask their children questions. They don't have their teacher's phone number. They are busy pushing money. It's good though, but those money you are pursuing is used for those children. After pursuing that money, and your children are nowhere to be found, what will you do? Parents, let me advise you. I meant some certain things, so that you can take good care of your children. They are your future hope, your generation. Please take my advice, my dear parents. Now children, say color. Color. Good. We have three types of color. And they are primary colors, secondary colors, and tertiary colors. Repeat after me. Primary colors. Primary colors. Secondary colors. Tertiary colors. And tertiary colors. Good. Primary colors. They are red, yellow, blue. Secondary colors. They are green, orange, purple. Tertiary colors. They are yellow. Orange, red, purple, blue, purple, blue, green, and yellow, green. Other colors are indigo, purple, pink, brown, black, white. Another topic is shape. What is shape? A shape or a figure is the form of an object. We have shape like circle, square, triangle, rectangle, oval, star, heart, cross, pentagon, and crescent. Children, repeat after me. Circle, circle, square, square, triangle, triangle, rectangle, rectangle, oval, oval, pentagon, pentagon.
king falls on the ground, it will produce sound. Somebody may ask you, why is sound so important to human life? Sound is important to human and many other animals for communication as well as for safety. Even for babies, sounds such as different kinds of crying are necessary for communicating needs to their caretaker. Uses of sound. Sound is very useful in communication. We use sound to draw attention of people. We use sound for entertainment. Example, music. Sound makes a baby to sleep. Example, singing for a baby can make him or her sleep. We also use sound to create awareness. Types of sound. We have pleasant sound and unpleasant sound. Pleasant sound. This is a sound.
situation whereby somebody is not feeling well. Common illness in our society are malaria, two, diarrhea, three, dysentery, four, cholera, five, kwashiorkor, six, typhoid, measles, and cough. Measles. This is a disease that is common among children and it is contagious and spreads widely. 2. Cough Cough like tuberculosis is caused by bacteria which can move from an infected person to another person who has close contact with him or her. Typhoid. This is caused by eating bad food and drinking unclean water. 4. Fashioko. This is caused by lack of nutritious food. Number 5. Dysentery and diarrhea. These are caused by eating bad food or drinking unclean water also. Number six, cholera. Cholera can be caused by eating food that are exposed to flies and food that are also prepared in unclean environments. Symptoms of illness. One, dullness. People who are ill are not active. Two, lack of appetite. When people are sick, they don't usually have appetite to eat. 3. Lack of sleep. When people are sick, they may not be able to sleep well. Number 4. Pains. Sometimes people may feel pain in their body when they are sick. Number 5. Lean. Sometimes People became lean when they are sick. Children, children, children. Eh? Hope you are listening. Yes, yes, yes. Causes of illness are lack of good personal hygiene. When we do not keep ourselves clean, it can result in sickness. Two, lack of good environmental sanitation. A clean environment of our homes, schools, and neighborhoods can cause sickness. Carelessness in the way we do things. If we don't cover our food and keep our water clean, it will cause sickness. Insect bites, especially mosquitoes. Number four, lack of eating good food. If we do not eat good food that can help our body to grow and keep disease away from us, it will allow disease in our body. Number five, contacting with people who are already having a particular sickness, like tuberculosis. Ways to preventing common illness are one. Keeping our environment clean all the time. Two, taking proper care of our body. Three, taking immunization when it is time. Four, eating good food that can nourish our body. Five, drinking clean and safe water. Six, going to the hospital for treatment anytime we are sick. Talking to our parents, teachers, trusted adults when we are not well so that they can take proper care of us. 8. Using our medicine the way the doctor wants us to be taking them. 9. Use mosquito nets. 10. Do not expose yourself 
چوکور انداز چو جان ایو فلوی and grow. 
through. 3. They improve our memory. 4. They protect the body from diseases and illness. 5. They help our wounds to heal fast. The classes of nutrients. They are balanced diet and imbalanced diet. What is balanced diet? Balanced diet is a diet that contains the six classes of food in their correct amount. We have six things we need in a balanced diet. They are carbohydrates, protein, fat and oil, mineral salts, vitamins, Children, read after me. Carbohydrates, Carbohydrates. Protein, protein, fat and oil, fat and oil. Vitamin, vitamin, mineral salts, mineral salts, and water. And water. What is imbalanced diet? An imbalanced diet is a diet that does not contain the six classes of food. In their correct amount. Children, hope you understood. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Let's look into hygiene. What is hygiene? Hygiene is a set of practices performed to preserve health. We also have what we call personal hygiene. And it means keeping our body and environment clean. Ways of keeping our body clean are 1. We must take our baths at least twice a day. 2. We must bath our body with clean water, soap and sponge so as to wash away dirt on our body. We should brush our teeth in the morning and at bedtime. 4. Boys should have a haircut regularly. 5. Girls should play their hair regularly. 6. We should not stick our finger in our nostrils. 7. We should use handkerchief to clean our nose. We must wear clean dresses and underwear always. Is that well understood? Yes, yes, yes. Materials used in keeping our body clean. Now, children, read after me. Clean water. Clean water. Toothpaste.